This Tuesday will be World Mental Health Day, so I'm joining a Christian retreat walk in the beautiful countryside around Winchester, where we'll learn how to give our minds a rest and to reconnect with God. Welcome to Songs of Praise. In today's programme, we retrace the steps of the poet John Keats to experience the mellow fruitfulness of autumn and to give our minds an MOT. Pop star turned priest and strictly contestant, the Reverend Richard Coles, speaks candidly about his teenage mental health problems. It was a kind of sense that I was at odds with the world and always would be, and that became unbearable. And Sean Fletcher discovers how working with horses is helping to transform children's lives. The way you approach the horse means that quite often any anxieties or tensions that you have slip away. Our music today comes from churches across the country with words to encourage, soothe and inspire. And we begin with a great reassuring hymn of praise, Christ is made the sure foundation. to look after our physical health through exercise, we're also becoming aware of the need to take care of our mental health too. And that's what today's walk is all about. Leading us today is Brian Draper, who regularly takes groups on retreat walks. Hi, Brian and Hi, Catherine. Catherine. Hi, everybody. What are we going to get out of today? I'm so excited. Well, it's a chance for us today to press pause from our busy lives, to kind of come up for air, and as well to reconnect, to reconnect with God, we hope, and to bring some kind of peace and poise back into the busyness when we go away from here. Well, this sounds amazing. I've turned my mobile phone off. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Should we get going? Let's go. Great. <laughs> 
Our group is made up of Christians from different walks of life. Some are regular retreat walkers, others first-timers like me. I work in a children's hospice and I have the privilege really of working with people who are in the saddest of situations facing their child's death. So can obviously a lot of what I need to consider is how I am able to do that and be there for those people. So in doing something like this, you're sort of trying to look after yourself so you can look after others. Exactly, exactly. And so what do you do for a living? I design high-speed turbo machines. Wow which means that I'm constantly focusing in on the details and actually it's very difficult to see the bigger picture, which is what I want to do today. Coming out today, I feel really at ease and the fresh air and the walking, it really feels good to come out of London. I'm going to ask you to be still. A very simple trick or tip just to be still in the moment is to bring all of your attention and your awareness to your breathing. It, it really helps to centre you. Pause, breathe, take ten breaths, relax. Just notice, remember that God is with you as well. We're walking through the very same water meadows where the poet John Keats was inspired to write his famous Ode to Autumn. You'd walk along this way and it's just really fantastic to look at the sights that he looked at and to try to see them through our own creative eyes. Season of mists and mellow fruitfulness. Close bosom friend of the maturing sun. Conspiring with him how to load and bless with fruit the vines that round the thatch eaves run. I was focusing on the trees and on the wind in the trees and it made me think of cathedrals actually because cathedrals they're made in a way to take your eyes up communing with God in that way to bend with apples the mossed cottage trees and fill all fruit with ripeness to the core to swell the gourd and plump the hazel shells with a sweet kernel to stop and to be still and to be silent enables you to see things that you otherwise wouldn't see and enjoy and benefit from. I'm finding it quite hard to stand in silence and, and slow down really. In fact I came straight from work, believe it or not, which in a way wasn't a, a good way to, to start, but actually it's normal life. To set budding more and still more, later flowers for the bees, until they think warm days will never cease for summer has all brimmed their clammy cells. And do you have a favourite hymn that you like to help you focus? It's the lovely hymn, Dear Lord and Father of Mankind. Oh. <laughs> There's that lovely line, Drop thy still dews of quietness till all our strivings cease. And that's really what we're doing today. I love it.